Good evening, and welcome to the 2020 Senior Scholar Presentation. Tonight, we have the great pleasure of recognizing those seniors receiving special scholarships or awards, our top academic seniors, and their honored educators. At this time, I would like to welcome to the stage our superintendent, Mr. Murphy, as he has a few words that he would like to share. Good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to the 2020 Tuscarawas Valley High School Senior Scholar Presentation. Normally, we would host this very special ceremony by bringing together all of our seniors to be recognized, along with their parents and loved ones, for an amazing dinner and time of fellowship at the Amishdor Banquet Center in Wilmot. Well, this year, obviously, we find ourselves in unique quarantined conditions as a result of the coronavirus COVID-19. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. We won't get to enjoy first and maybe even seconds of delicious Amish prepared chicken, mashed potatoes, sides, and desserts. It is fun to think about though. In all seriousness, as much as we would love to be together in person to shake your hand, bestow well-deserved honor cords, and present framed photos, we are proud to conduct this ceremony virtually and to use the gifts of technology to bring proper honor and recognition to each and every one of you. Tonight, we have the incredible privilege of saying well done to nearly one half of the Tuskegee Valley High School class of 2020. So whether you are earning uh, an academic letter, graduating with top honors, getting a special award, or receiving a scholarship, the fact that you are being recognized tonight speaks volumes about you. I also believe it is a clear indicator of your future success, a future filled with hope and promise. You may not think of it this way, but for our seniors being recognized today, you have consistently shown elite performance throughout your career at Tuscarawas Valley Local Schools, not just at the high school level. I've heard it being said that being elite is choosing to be the best version of you, not in comparison to someone or something else, but it is the best version of you, the comparison to what you are capable of. Author and speaker Tim Kite says it this way in reference to how to be elite. Better today than I was yesterday. Better tomorrow than I was today. Do the work. Listen to that again. Better today than I was yesterday. Better tomorrow than I was today. Do the work. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no substitute. Our celebration today is just that. You have done the work. You have chosen to be better today than you were yesterday. And tomorrow, you will be better than you were today. How? Through your perspective, through your choices, and your circle of friends. So thank you for doing the hard work. Thank you for being elite, the best version of you. On behalf of our Board of Education and our entire Tuskegee Valley family, congratulations to our seniors receiving such well-deserved recognition. To our parents, families, and loved ones who are watching, thank you for your support, and may God bless you all. At this time, we would like to recognize our seniors who have been on the honor roll earning a 3.5 GPA for the entire 2019-2020 school year. Ashlyn Adams, Taylor Ammons, Marissa Barbera, Madison Boyd, Chase Berkey, Tori Campbell, Elizabeth Cox, Abby Dillon, Christian Dunn, Emily Dyko, Audrey Ernst, Brooklyn Fockler, Taylor Gallagher, Abigail Gibbs, Angela Harper, Amber Hooks, Corey Kime, Bailey Kinney, Dustin Kirtley, Trevor Kohler, Austin Mahaffey, Tyler Meek, Megan Murphy, Gavin Perkowski, Lillian Peterson, Justin Paralazzi, Emily Price, Faith Ramser, Jonathan Reniker, Kayla Scott, Kylie Stewart, Madison Stropke, 
Felipe Veloto, Reina Van Osdal, James Van Oster, Ace Waldron, Storm Waldron, Sierra Williams, Kennedy Willis, and Natalie Yoder. Next, we will honor our seniors who have earned local scholarships and special awards. Receiving the American Legion Post 190 Scholarship, Dustin Kirtley. Receiving the Alt Care Scholarship, Sarah Williams. Receiving the Jessica Swinford Memorial Scholarship, Audrey Ernst. Receiving the Joe Hafer Bolivar Lions Memorial, Dustin Kirtley. Receiving the Rotary Club of Bolivar and Zor, Audrey Ernst. Receiving the Tuscarawas County Community Foundation Leadership Scholarship, Sarah Williams. Receiving the Tuscarawas Valley Elementary PTO Scholarship, Taylor Gallagher. Receiving the Tuscarawas Valley Teachers Association Scholarship, Taylor Ammons, Audrey Ernst, and Hannah Hostetler. Receiving the Tuscarawas Valley Ruritan Scholarship Grant, Taylor Ammons, Audrey Ernst, and Dustin Kirtley. Build Your Dollar Scholarship Ruritan National and Tuskegee Valley Ruritan Club Scholarship goes to Taylor Gallagher. Receiving the Commercial and Savings Bank Scholarship, Faith Ramser. Receiving the Zachary Davis Memorial Scholarship, Natalie Yoder. Now we will announce our 2020 OHSAA award winners. The first award is named for Archie Griffin. Mr. Griffin is an Ohio native, the only two-time recipient of the Heisman Trophy for football, and as a professional athlete, he always displayed exemplary sportsmanship. Mr. Griffin, current CEO of the Ohio State University Alumni Association, has been active in promoting sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity for many years. He was honored in 1998 as a recipient of the prestigious OHSAA Ethics and Integrity Award. Our female recipient is Abby Dillon. Our male recipient is Owen Miller. The next award is the OHSA Scholar Athlete. This award is given to a senior who is equally dedicated to academic success and athletic excellence. This year's award recipient is Sierra Williams. Her next award is the NFHS National Award of Excellence. This award is given to a senior who exhibits qualities that embody good sportsmanship, good moral character, and good sporting behavior. This year award recipient is Samuel Ray. And the last award from the OHSAA is the OHSAA State Award. This award is given to an individual within the community who is a positive role model and exemplifies good sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity. This individual is dedicated to the betterment of the school and student. And this year's award recipient is Mr. Aaron Stump. Our first TVHS honor is for perfect attendance. And this year, we had only one student who had perfect attendance. That person is Emily Price. Our leadership award is awarded to a student who is committed to the values of justice and caring. The student acts from a strong self-concept, exhibits positivity, and evokes hope in others. This recipient is committed to the promotion of teamwork and unity within the school and community. And this year's leadership recipient is Sierra Williams. Our service award is given to a student who is dependable and team-oriented. This student exhibits kindness and selflessness, contributing to the welfare of others. This recipient is committed to the promotion of innovative ideas within the school and community. This year recipient of the service award is Josh Jeffries. Our citizenship award is given to a student who strengthens those around them. This student promotes school pride, is goal-oriented, enthusiastic, and respectful. 
This recipient is committed to the strengthening of school and students through acts of positivity and persistence. This year's recipient of the Citizenship Award is Todd Tacey. Our Outstanding Senior Award is given to a student who exemplifies all characteristics indicative of an outstanding youth. The student exhibits leadership, service, and citizenship in all that they do. This recipient is dedicated, compassionate, and is committed to the promotion of growth and connection within their school and community. This year, receiving the Outstanding Senior Award is Gavin Perkowski. At this time, we're going to honor those seniors who have achieved cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude status. This year, we are recognizing 23 students for their outstanding academic efforts over the last four years. We will begin with our seniors receiving cum laude honors. Chase Berkey. Chase is the son of Gretchen and Michael Berkey. Chase plans on attending Buckeye Adult Education to pursue a machinist apprenticeship. Chase Berkey. Emily Dyko. Emily is the daughter of Beth and Leonard Dyko. She plans to attend Baldwin Wallace Conservatory of Music and major in flute performance. Emily Dyko. Amber Hooks. Amber is the daughter of Jody and Shasta Hooks. She plans to attend the College of Worcester and to pursue a major in elementary education. Amber Hooks. Corey Kime. Corey is the son of Lisa and Don Kime. He plans to attend the University of Akron and major in computer engineering. Corey Kime. Emma Ligo. Emma is the daughter of Misty Ligo. She plans to attend Kent State University at Stark and major in criminal justice. Emma Ligo. Alejandro Menendez Murphy. Alejandro is the son of Ana Maria Garcia Menendez. His future plans are undecided at this time. Alejandro Menendez Murphy. Justin Paralazzi. Justin is the son of Vicky and Angelo Paralazzi. Justin plans to attend Kent State University and major in Young Adult Education. Justin Paralazzi. Faith Ramser. Faith is the daughter of Tricia and John Ramser. Faith plans to attend Altman College and study nursing. Faith Ramser. Felicity Sands. Felicity is the granddaughter of Connie and Jack Overcasher. She plans to attend the Buckeye Adult Education to pursue studies as a pharmacy technician. Felicity Sands. Kennedy Willis. Kennedy is the daughter of Rochelle and Tom Willis. She plans to attend Youngstown State University and study dental hygiene. Kennedy Willis. Next, we'll be recognizing the seniors who have earned magna cum laude honors. Abby Dillon. Abby is the daughter of Jennifer and Sean Dillon. She plans to attend Ohio Dominican University and major in psychology. Abby Dillon. Audrey Ernst. Audrey is the daughter of April and Adam Ernst. She plans to attend Kent State University and double major in business entrepreneurship and business management. Audrey Ernst. Hannah Hostetler. Hannah is the daughter of Shauna Shutt and Timothy Hostetler. She plans to attend Moorhead State University and major in neuroscience. Hannah Hostetler. Dustin Kirtley. Dustin is the son of Renee and Cameron Kirtley. Dustin plans to attend Kent State University and major in architecture. Dustin Kirtley. Kayla Scott. Kayla is the daughter of Laura and Chris Scott. She plans to attend the Ohio State University ATI and major in animal science. Kayla Scott. Storm Waldron. Storm is the son of LaDonna and Dean Waldron. Storm plans to attend Malone University and pursue studies as a physician assistant. Storm Waldron. And finally, we will recognize our seniors earning the highest honor, summa cum laude. These students will be honoring an educator whom they feel has made a significant impact on their lives. Each of these students has written a letter to their educator and recorded themselves reading it so that we can share it with you this evening. Tori Campbell. Tori is the daughter of Tiana and Todd Campbell. She plans to attend Kent State University and major in speech pathology with a minor in Spanish. Tonight, 
Tori has chosen to recognize Senorita Garcia Menendez as her honored educator. Senorita teaches Spanish at TVHS for grades 8 through 12. Tori Campbell. Well, hola, Pepsi-Cola, Senorita. <laughs> you truly have become my second mother and your classroom has become my second home. You made learning a foreign language my favorite thing to do. I genuinely enjoy it. I look forward to your class and I can't imagine taking Spanish without you, but I feel like you might lovingly bite my head off if I don't complete my minor in the language. Five years is a long time and I can't decide if eighth grade feels like yesterday or centuries ago, but I have genuinely enjoyed every single second spent in your classroom. I've learned a plethora of Spanish to the point where I drive my family up a wall speaking it 24 seven. And my favorite place to travel is, you guessed it, La Republica Dominicana, solely so I can speak to people that understand the language and don't look at me like I'm crazy. Not only have you taught me a language that I love, you have taught me to see my self-worth. You've listened to every single second of every rant 99% of which were about boys, and you both know it, and you genuinely gave the best advice. You taught me to take care of myself. You see the best in me, you push me to be that girl, and I'm forever grateful for a teacher like you. You're an incredibly selfless person, and I aspire to be half the woman and mentor that you are. You deserve all the sleep and coffee in the world. 300 words can't begin to express my gratitude for your influence in my life in the past five years. Coffee on lunch sometime soon, please. Muchas, muchas, muchas gracias por todo. Augustine. Brooklyn Fockler. Brooklyn is the daughter of Keith and Lindsay Fockler and Stephanie and Christopher Heck. She plans to attend Kent State University and major in theater studies. Tonight, Brooklyn has chosen to recognize Mrs. Troyer as her honored educator. Mrs. Troyer teaches mathematics at TVHS for grades 11 and 12. Brooklyn Fockler. Dear Mrs. Troyer, I just want to start by saying that you must be doing something right because Sierra and I almost had to fight over you. I honestly don't know who would win in that scenario. Picture it, star athlete versus Disney princess. I am happy to announce, however, that fight ended long before it started. I am honored to be given this opportunity to recognize someone who made the biggest difference in my life every time I stepped into the classroom. The passion that you have for teaching far exceeds any expectation that I ever had for an educator. Not only are you an outstanding math teacher, but also an amazing person and friend. You go above and beyond to ensure that each student succeeds. Your class was always enjoyable, even when we fell silent and you had to consult Blue. In all seriousness, you have inspired me. Thank you for constantly challenging me and for believing in me. Your support means the world. The time that I have spent with you and the lessons that you taught me that were never written in our calculus books will stick with me long after graduation. Being in your class was like being part of a family. It was always an encouraging environment where I could be myself. I wasn't afraid to make mistakes or ask questions. In fact, you made me realize just how important those mistakes can be. I am forever grateful for everything you've given me throughout my time at Tusky Valley. I will miss you and the warmth that you brought to class every day. I hope that in the future, I can be as dedicated and passionate to something as you are to your students. Thank you for making a difference in my life. Best wishes and much love. Taylor Gallagher. Taylor is the daughter of Tanya and Ed Gallagher. She plans to attend Clarion University and study speech-language pathology. Tonight, Taylor has chosen to recognize Mrs. Linden as her honored educator. Mrs. Linden teaches English language arts at TVHS for the 11th grade. Taylor Gallagher. I am honored to have been your student. You have taught me so much about becoming a better student. I cannot thank you enough for making yourself available for extra help, being flexible and understanding, and always providing reassurance. I came to you often with stress and fear of not doing well enough on an assignment or test. You always encouraged me to ask questions and showed me that you would be there if I needed more support. During a time I was feeling especially frustrated with an assignment, you welcomed me into your room before school and explained everything exactly the way I needed the topic to explained. Before I left your room that morning, you offered me your cell phone number. You wanted me to be able to contact you and get an immediate response if I had any more problems with the assignment. When I walked out of your room that day, I knew everything would be okay. I want you to know that you truly made me feel confident and supported. 
The best part is that I am not the only student you had an impact on. Every student that comes through your door is welcome into a classroom with a truly special and supportive teacher. I felt like your door was always open and I learned from you that it is okay to ask for help and asking questions is the best path to learning. If I had a question, I would come to your room during study hall and we would sit there until I truly understood. Even now that my time as a student in your classroom is over, I know your door is always open. I am super thankful to know I will always have you as a reference and mentor. Gavin Perkowski. Gavin is the son of Sarah and Vincent Perkowski. He plans to attend the University of Akron and major in biomedical engineering. Tonight, Gavin has chosen to recognize Mr. Dunlap as his honored educator. Mr. Dunlap teaches industrial arts and engineering at TVHS for grades 9 through 12. Gavin Perkowski. Dear Mr. Dunlap, thanks for being you. The most important lesson you taught me was not reverse engineering, Boolean algebra, or combinational logic circuit design. No, the most important lesson you taught me was how to fail and get back up again. You never just handed out an answer, even when I was stuck. Yet you never let me struggle aimlessly. You were always there to guide me in the right direction. You allowed me to work through difficulties and barricades because you knew that we learn more through struggles than success. This demonstrated to me that you knew and believed in my abilities, which greatly boosted my confidence to accept challenges and to work through a project until completion. Recently, in our first distance learning assignment, you started by saying, I do miss seeing you guys in class. You then followed up by saying, please don't tell anyone I said that. Oops. In reality, we didn't need you to say that you missed us. We knew you would miss us because every day you showed that you truly cared about each of your students, asking us how we are and investing time in us. I remember being amazed when you stopped all lessons for a day just to talk and make sure everyone was doing okay because you knew our well-being is vital. We knew you cared when you sacrificed your television to our digital electronics showcase project, knowing full well it may never return or be the same again. We knew you wanted us to succeed when you stayed in your classroom late into the night so we could work on projects. Your dedication to your students, past, future, and present, is clearly evident every day I was in your classroom. From me and the rest of the 2020 sim class, a heartfelt thanks. Emily Price. Emily is the daughter of Carol and Edward Price. Emily plans to attend the University of Akron and major in English. Tonight, Emily has chosen to recognize Mrs. Linden as her honored educator. Again, Mrs. Linden teaches English language arts at TVHS. Emily Price. Mrs. Linden, I thank you for the impact you have made on my high school career and my life. My time in your class, AP English, was both fun and challenging. The material was not always easy, but you instilled both confidence and competency in my classmates and I. Moreover, I believe that you enabled me to grow as a student and an individual while, I was in, while you were my teacher. Again, I thank you for challenging me in your AP course. I believe it made me become a better, more efficient writer. It was very encouraging when you praised my efforts, and I was proud to bring home my writing and share it with my family. In addition, I appreciate your willingness to correct and critique my assignments in order that I might grow in this particular skill and be prepared for the AP exam. Additionally, I thank you for your kindness towards me. When we have spoken, you have taken an interest in my future plans and have demonstrated genuine care towards your students. Not only that, but I also love the stories you have shared with my class, and it is your humor that made this class even more enjoyable. Furthermore, one of my favorite works that we covered in your class was Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. This continues to leave an impression on me as I admire the poetic nature and vivid description in this well-known classic. Overall, I hope that in my future English career, I will be mindful of the skills you have taught me and use them as a powerful and meaningful voice in the world. Thank you for your time and care you have invested in me and your other students. It is worthwhile and admirable and significant. Sincerely, Sierra Williams. Sierra is the daughter of Nani and the late Philip Williams and the stepdaughter of Odell Abel. She plans to attend Case Western Reserve University and her major is undecided at this time. Tonight, Sierra has chosen to recognize Mrs. Troyer as her honored educator. And again, Mrs. Troyer teaches mathematics at TVHS. Sierra Williams. For two years now, I have gotten to sit in your classroom and do what you and I love to do most, learn math. 
The difference is I got to learn from the best. A hardworking teacher, an Eminem lover, a chalk fanatic, a calculus nerd, and an inspirational mentor. Your dedication to teaching is perhaps the most inspiring thing about you. I hope that I will love my future career one day half as much as you love yours. However, this isn't the only thing that makes you so special. Our bond that has formed over the years is especially important to me. Over games of set and numerous frustrating conversations, you have taught me to push myself, strive for greatness, and be a little competitive while doing it. Our stubbornness coupled with our competitive edges make us quite the pair, but I wouldn't change it for anything. We are connected by our personalities, which are sometimes admittedly a little too similar. I hope you will always know that the respect you have never ceased to show me is reciprocated and then some. This year, unfortunately, ended in a different way than what we expected. However, you didn't bat an eye and continue to teach us and keep us on track for everything we've been working towards. Plus, we added some new faces to our classroom, The Virgin Mark could never outweigh you. To conclude, I wanted to say something that amazing teachers like you never hear enough of. Thank you. Thank you for being you, a person who would never be described as just a teacher. This sounds like a goodbye, but don't worry. I will be back to annoy you with some questions, and most importantly, finally win a game of set. Natalie Yoder. Natalie is the daughter of Kathy and Heath Yoder. She plans to attend Walsh University and major in chemistry with a focus on pre-pharmacy. Tonight, Natalie has chosen to recognize Dr. King as her honored educator. Dr. King is a chemistry professor at Walsh University. Natalie Yoder. Dr. King, thank you for being a great chemistry lab professor. You explained the complex concepts in the course in a concise way that made sense. You took the time to answer the questions I had and worked with me on the experiments for the class. Prior to taking your class, I had not yet decided on a major to focus on after high school. After one of our labs at the end of the semester, you had a discussion with me about my college and career plans. You told me that you had been talking with other chemistry professors at Walsh and you recognized the potential they saw in me through my work in the chemistry classes. You let me know that I should seriously consider a career in the sciences. Before taking chemistry courses at Walsh University, I definitely did not think I would want to go into that field. However, through your dedication to helping me understand the principles of chemistry, and through your encouragement to follow a scientific path, I will continue my college journey at Walsh University this fall. I also will be majoring in a chemistry pre-pharmacy degree. Thank you, Dr. King, for encouraging me to work hard, but also have fun in your class. Thank you for taking the time to explain concepts to me and help me through labs. Thank you for talking to me after class and inspiring me to explore careers in chemistry. Thank you for reassuring me that I am going to be fine taking organic chemistry courses, even though I am so a little anxious about them. Finally, thank you, Dr. King, for your hard work and for the influence you had on my life. I cannot wait to take organic chemistry in the fall. On behalf of our students and staff, I would like to thank you for watching tonight. We would like to say a final congratulations to our students' success and good luck in the future.